Hi, good morning guys. This is Sajina. Today we can see sexual reproduction in fungus. We have already heard about reproduction in fungus in the previous session and we have seen the asexual mode of reproduction in detail. Here we can see the sexual reproduction in fungus. In sexual reproduction, we can see fusion of two compatible nuclei of the parent cells. And the process involves mainly three steps, plasmogamy, karyogamy and meiosis. Plasmogamy, you have already heard about these terms in your previous classes. Plasmogamy means fusion of protoplasm. And the karyogamy, it is a fusion of nuclei of the parent cells to form diploid nucleus. And this is followed by meiosis, meiosis. Here, on meiosis, we will get four haploid cells. In some cases, mitosis can also be seen. The sex organelles of fungi are called gametangia or gametangium. And the gametes are formed in gametangia. And the male gametangium, it is antheridium. And the female gametangium, it is called ugonium. And next, we can see the main modes of sexual reproduction in fungus. They are gametic copulation, gamet gametangial copulation, gametangial copulation, somatic copulation, and spermatization. First, we can see gametic copulation. In gametic copulation, we can see fusion of naked gametes. Here, the gametes are either motile or non motile, that is, one will be motile or both will be motile. Here, we can see based on the size of the gametes. Three different types of gametic copulations can be seen that is isogamy or isogamous, anisogamous or anisogamy, oogamous or oogamy. In the first case, in the diagram, you can see in isogamy the two gametes are similar in size and they fuse to form a diploid zygote. And in the second case, we can see anisogamy that is the two gametes are dissimilar that is the one ga first gamete is small and the second gamete is large so it is called anisogamy and these two dissimilar gametes they fuse to form zygote and here in the third case we can see oogamy or oogamous that is the fusion of large egg the egg is very large and the sperm it is motile or the male gametes it is motile and it is small. Here we can see the egg and the sperm and this is oogamy. Okay, therefore based on the size of the gametes we can see three types of gametic copulations isogamy, anisogamy and oogamy. Next we can see gamete gametangial copulation. This is a second method of sexual reproduction in fungus. Here two gametangia they come closer that is here we can see this is the oogonium. Oogonium, it is the female gametangium and antheridium, it is the male gametangium. They come closer and after that the male nucleus, it migrates into the female gametangium through a fertilization tube or a pore. Here the male gametangium, it first come closer to the female gametangium, then it form a pore or a fertilization tube. Here we can see a fertilization tube and through this tube, the male nucleus migrate into the female gametangium and before fertilization, the oogonium contain oospheres. These are oospheres and these oospheres are fertilized by uh, this uh, male gametangium or male nucleus resulting in the formation of oospores. Oospheres get converted to oospores. That is gamete gametangial copulation. That is here uh, the gamete and gametangium they are involved. So it is called gamete gametangial copulation. Next we can see gametangial copulation. Here we are we can see two gametangia that is that is one is positive and negative hyphae that is male or female hyphae. They come closer and this is the two gametangia and they fuse they fuse to they fuse and form a zygote. Zygote is a diploid condition and this zygote it will develops into a thick walled resting spore called zygospore and this is an important feature of zygomycetes and one example is rhizopus.
Then next we can see somatic copulation. Here we can see fusion of somatic cells or vegetative cells that is here. This is the area where the somatic cells fuse and that is called somatic copulation. The fifth method is spermatization. It is different from that of other methods. Here we can see a special male structure called spermatium. This is the spermatium and this is the female structure which is called the female receptive hyphae or the female receptive structure. And this spermatium, it comes close to the female structure and empties its content into the receptive structure that is female receptive structure during plasmogamy. That is this spermatium, it comes close to the female receptive structure, it fuses and empties its nucleus into the female receptive structure. Here we can see this receptive structure contain only one nucleus and here uh, due, after emptying the contents we can see two nucleus two nuclei and they fuse to form diploid zygote therefore that is spermatization and spermatization it is occurring with the help of a special male structure called uh, spermatium and it is uh, uniting with the female receptive structure next we can see different types of sexual spores the main types of sexual spores are ascospores, basidiospores, cygospores, and oospores. First, we can see ascospores. Ascospores, these are single celled spores. They are formed in sac like structures called ascus, and ascla asci it is, or asci it is plural. And this ascus it's a sac like structure, and inside the ascus, the nuclear fusion occurs, or the nuclei of the two parent cells fuse to form a diploid zygote. And this diploid zygote it immediately undergoes meiosis. And four haploid nuclei will be formed and these haploid nuclei undergo mitosis to form eight ascospores. In the beginning, I have already told you that in some cases, this meiosis, it is followed by mitosis. It is occurring mainly in the case of ascomycids, that is in the formation of ascospores. In this diagram, we can see this is ascocarp, that is a fruiting body, and here this this is the ascus. Inside the ascus, the male and female nuclei, they fuse, that is karyogamy, occurs resulting in the formation of diploid zygote. And this zygote undergoes meiosis to form four haploid cells. This again undergoes mitosis to form eight ascospores. This is the ascospores. And this is the sac-like structure, ascus with eight ascospores. Hope you all understand. Next we can see basidiospores. Basidiospores, these are single celled spores born on a club shaped structure called basidium. And this bas inside the basidium, nuclear fusion occurs and meiosis occurs. Here, mitosis is absent. So, after nuclear fusion, we will get a diploid zygote. And this diploid zygote undergoes meiosis to form four haploid basidiospores. And these haploid basidiospores, they are displayed exogenously at the tip of special outgrowths called steric matter. Usually, four basidiospores are formed on the tip of a basidium. And this basidiospores, they are mainly formed by basidiomycids. This is a diagrammatic representation. That is, this is the basidium. And inside the basidium, the male and female nuclei, they fuse to form diploid zygote. This is followed by meiosis to form four haploid nuclei. And the next step, we can see the migration of these haploid nuclei to the tip of the steric matter. And this is the steric matter. And on the tip of the steric matter, we can see basidiospores. And these basidiospores, they are later on released to the environment so that the new organism will be produced. Here this is the basidium and this is the steric matter. This is a, this stalk is steric matter. On the tip of the steric matter we can see basidiospores and a single basidium it harbors four basidiospores. Next we can see zygospores. These are large thick walled spores formed by gametangial copulation. We have already discussed gametangial copulation. Here we can see hyphal, uh, the two hyphae or the two gametangia, they fuse and after fusion a zygote will be produced and this zygote will develop into a thick walled rusting spore called zygospore and this zygospore it undergoes germination to form sporangia. Mucor is an example. 
Next, we can see oospores. They are formed in special female structure called ogonium. We have already heard about gamete gametangial copulation, and the uh, oospores are the result of gamete gametangial copulation. Here we can see in the diagram. This is the oosphere. Inside the ogonium, we can see oospheres, and these oospheres are fertilized by the male gamete, fertilized by the male nuclei present inside the antheridium, and this is the antheridium. This antheridium, it come closer to the female ogonium. After that, a fertilization tube will be formed and through this tube, the male nuclei migrate into the oosphere. Male nuclei migrate to oosphere and these oospheres get fertilized to form oospores. And here, this is the ogonium and this is the antheridium. This is fertilization. After fertilization, we will get oospores. One or more oospores can be seen in a single ogonium. Next, we can see fruiting bodies. The asexual and sexual spores of the fungus, they are surrounded by highly organized structures called fruiting bodies. And these fruiting bodies, their function is to protect these spores. And therefore, these are highly organized, specialized protective structures. They are mainly seen in ascomycetes and basidiomycetes. Then asexual fruiting bodies and sexual fruiting bodies can be seen. Some examples are given below. Asexual fruiting bodies are, some examples are acervulus and pycnidium. And sexual fruiting bodies, examples are clistothesium, perithesium and apothesium. These are some diagrams of the fruiting bodies. Hope you all understand the sexual methods or sexual mode of reproduction, sexual spores and fruiting bodies in this session. Thank you for your patient listening. Have a nice day.